Wild Thing. Oh, I ruined it. Go again. Wild Things is a 1998 American neo-noir thriller film directed by John McNaughton and starring Matt Dillon, Kevin Bacon, Neve Campbell, Denise Richards, Theresa Russell, Robert Wagner, and Bill Murray. It follows and a high school guidance. Kevin movie. Bacon's cock. Let's not forget that. It follows a high school guidance counsellor in South Florida who is accused of rape by two female students and a series of subsequent revelations after a police officer begins investigating the alleged crimes. Nobody cares. Get to the boobs. That's why everybody came to this film. Are there boobs in this film? Not really, though. Were you disappointed? Mm, you saw a bit of side boob and partial nipple. Yeah. Um, no, but mm. like full disclosure, I'd never watched this whole film ever. Even when it came, when did, this, did you say it came out? 90 something back then. Are you coming then, out? Am I coming out of the closet? Yeah. Oh, I've this... been well out for years, mate. Um, Have you? Yeah. 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 I mean, every time we hang out, I have my hand on your leg. I mean, the signs yeah. are there, you know? All right. Look oh, for was the, that the, a sign? The signals. The signals, as they say. Um, no, yeah. I, I, I love the clunge. Sorry. Um, you're out of luck. Uh, yeah. Had never never watched the whole film. Had had uh, aware of, like, the pool scene, you know, seeing the girls kiss. I'd never saw Denise Richards' boobs from that scene. Uh, and, yeah, uh, there's nothing to write home about. I don't really rate her as spoken about in our Starship Troopers episode. Go check that out. Um, I was looking forward to some Nev Campbell, but that didn't happen. And uh, yeah, yeah, she had a no nudity clause in her contract. She was very oh, firm sure. on that. Yeah, she was on Party of Five at the time, a very mm. popular television show. And not, she a, wasn't... Not, a, not the porno Party of Five. Um, Which is blokes. far better. Yeah, far yeah. better. Um, Completely different film. Far superior to the TV show. Uh, and, 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 yeah, she, she wasn't a bit, she couldn't uh, break her good girl image from, you know, the show wouldn't be yeah, happy fine. if she fine. got her kid out. <laughs> Yeah, but, but, um, like I thought that from the way you talked about it and, you know, my understanding of the film, I thought this was going to be like basic instinct for the millennials, you know, or mm. gen whatever. Mm. And it wasn't. It was just like this fucking made-for-TV episode of CSI that had too many twists and there's nobody you could fucking... Root for no twists. hero, no main character. What the fuck was this film? Honestly, it was a tell me. Neo neo noir thriller film. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. They didn't sell it as that, did they? Everybody mm, was an arsehole. Plotsy, plotsy, twisty. Very popular film at the time. Was it, no, but was it popular it? because of the film it was, all the twisty turny and all the wonderful acting, or was it because, oh, no, Nev, Nev Campbell and Denise Richards have a snog? That was it, wasn't it? Well, Nev Campbell was very popular at the time. Hmm. And this was her an erotic thriller. And it was an erotic thriller. It was like a fucking rape and murder film. Yeah, but you got to see... Kevin Bacon's hog. In, in you gotta... it's, I mean, look, look, I, you know, not to beat a dead hog, but that made the film for me. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I like. I, I thought it looked we... weird, to be honest. Looked like a big hunk of salami, is what it looked like. Man's very happy. We've spoken about the story, eh, about uh, producer Kevin Bacon and why his penis is in the film. Well, I read different stories tonight when I was doing my 4,000 hours of research for the mm. episode. <clears throat> but you tell your little story. 
Well, the story I like is that um, well, I'm not going to remember it now. Kevin Bacon was a producer on this film, and they yes. shot this film, and they went away, and principal photography is done, and it's time to edit. And yes. the scene, the the reveal scene of another one of the many plot twists. It's Kevin Bacon's in the shower and Matt Dillon comes in and he's like, hey, partner. And he's in the mm. shower. Nah. See his man ass. And like, then, you know, Kevin turns around and you see his bacon, as it were. And now the editors are like, oh, fuck. We don't have another take of this shot the scene that we need for the movie. So they ring up Kevin Bacon and they're like, hey, Kev, um, we're just editing the film and, uh, well, your cock's in it. And Kevin Bacon supposedly says, well, well, does it look good? And they say, oh, yeah. And he's like, we'll leave it in then. And that's, and that's it. And I like, I don't want you to ruin that. I love that story. Because it, you know. Well, I won't ruin looking, it. But It's a good looking cock. Um, the story was that they'd blocked the scene out so that Kevin, uh, what was the name, Matt Dillon would be holding a mm. towel in a strategic place so you don't actually oh, see his cock. And they did like a bunch Austin of takes. Housing. Yeah, they did a bunch of takes. And in one of the final take, Matt Dillon had the towel in the wrong place, and you see his wink, mm. Kevin Bacon's hog, mm. when he turns around. And then the director later said to Kevin, well, that's the best take. Uh-huh. And Kevin went, all right, put it in. I see your point. Okay. Right. Well, we see his point. We saw no, his I see point. your point, Kevin. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. So, and then he yeah, he said that when he went on tour, it was a bit of a frenzy, and everyone was asking about the cock shot when he was mm. touring around the US. When he went to Europe, no one unbatted an eye. No one ever asked yeah. about it. No one. There's just different sort of a thing over there. So they they all walk well, around with their cocks out in Europe. So it was quite sake, common. For the sake of testing our knowledge, can you think of other um, famous willies that? Appeared unexpectedly in a film. Ben Affleck's Willie and Gone Girl. What? And got his, yeah. his Willie and Gone Girl. I saw that film. I didn't see no Willie. You, you can right. see the shaft. You don't see the whole thing. Mm, but again, the towel just sort of creeps up, and you, and yeah. you see the winky. All right. Um, um, was it Zach and Mary's Willis? porno? You see? Uh, yeah, you see old Jason um, J. Yeah, Jason Mewes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So Willie um, there. Jason Biggs. Jason Biggs in American Pie Reunion. He has his cock mushed with the top of the frying pan. Um, was that a real cock? Yeah, that was his cock, apparently. Yeah, that's it. I um, can't really then, remember it. Uh, forgetting Sarah Marshall. Um, oh, what's his oh, face? His cock, yeah. Yeah, yeah his cock. Can't remember his name. He's a good actor, though, from How I Met Your Mother. Marshall from How I Met Your Mother. Can't remember his yeah. actual name. You were saying Bruce Willis's cock. In, um, yeah, yeah, Color of Night. Yeah, you see his cock. Terrible film. Again. Terrible film. Oh, awful. <laughs> Much like this one. But um, I can see colors now. I can see colors. Awful yeah, film. Because of Bruce Willis's cock. Yeah. You do see his cock, though. So, yeah. It was floating in the water a bit, isn't it? it was swimming. Well, I, don't, I can't really remember. It's like bobbling in the water yeah. or something. I don't know. Yeah. I don't, you know, it's the modern world. We can talk about willies now, I think. Um, we spent an episode talking about boobs, and I expected this episode to be more about boobs. So I'm kind of happy that um, cocks have come up. Yeah. <laughs> no <pun they>, well, <laughs> yeah. Um, it was something apparently what they deleted out of Wild Things is that they were going to have a kissing scene between Matt Dillon and Kevin Bacon. Oh. And so when he gets out of the shower, they have a little kiss, and it turns right. out that 
Matt Dillon was manipulating him because they were boyfriend, boyfriend. Okay. But they got rid of that because the studio said, that's a bit much. That's freaky. Get rid of that. Too many twists. Like, I took, like, honestly, man, I was watching it and it was like, I was expecting, like I said, sexy thriller. You know, I knew there was going to be some kind of, you know, Kevin Bacon to the policeman, so he's going to turn out to be bad or something. But, you know, and then it's like twist and twist and no, that girl's dead now. And, ah, oh, now the cop's in on and all that sort of shit. And then they sort of, like, that was cool. And I go, well, not cool, but that, it happened. But I really didn't need the, the during the credits stuff that really showed what happened. You know what I mean? Uh, no. They could have just left it vague. And you thought, oh, whoa. But no, they showed party of five pulling out her own teeth and stuff you know like they could have is just- this before or after usual suspects because it's a pretty similar sort of a thing going on there yeah. isn't it yeah oh, i must be after surely yeah might have been the trend usual at the suspects, time yeah hey you're right twists you know six cents twists with a big thing and maybe these guys and like scream um urban yeah. legend you know those films that had Oh, this, she's the killer. Oh, I know what you did last summer when mm-hmm. the twist made zero sense whatsoever. It was just oh, shit yeah. they pulled out at the you moment. I, I learned, here's a bit of trivia. Uh, Scream, the original, you know how there's uh, it's the two boys are the killers, right? There's two of them, and that's the big twist. Well, I never yeah. realized, and somebody pointed out, uh, was that the killer's What's the guy's name? Ghostface. Isn't that what they call it? Yeah. He wears a certain pair of shoes. So if you're paying attention to the shoes, every scene that the two dudes are in that shows their shoes, they're the same shoes as Ghostface. So you're supposed to have known from early on. But, yeah, there you go. Look out for that next time you watch Scream, which is never... So did the two boys wear the same pair of shoes? Well, it's it. There's odd scenes that are shot from down low. That if you wanted to look at all their shoes, you could pay attention to the shoes. But who looks at shoes? I've said shoes too many times. Uh, sh- they took turns at being ghost faced, didn't they? They did. Yeah. Well. Uh. Yes. I'm going to say yes. I don't remember. It's been a while. So there would have been scenes where Ghostface was wearing two different pairs of shoes and they matched up with the boys. Yeah, that's correct. That's the best. You you say it very well. You took the story right out of my mouth. You took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, meatloaf. What a must have been while I was stabbing you. Hmm. Scream reference. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Brought it um, back. But yeah, so that, that, the twisty turny annoyed me and it, it felt like a TV show. And I hate fucking Matt Dillon because all I can think about is something about Mary. Every film he's in. Yeah. Something about Matt Dillon that, yeah. Never. It's not one you like, is he? No. No. He's like, he could be good looking, but he's not really. He's like Shooter McGavin. Yeah, There's just something off about Matt Dillon. He played that serial killer um, in the, oh, God, Lars von Trier film, The House That oh Jack Built. Yeah, and he was very off in that, and that really suited him because he's, yeah, it's kind of, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Something like, wrong. Like I said, for me, he's stuck in, well, two, nah, I was going to say two roles, but mainly one. So something about Mary was, I think, such a a breakout role. It might not have been his biggest one, but that's the one I remember him as. And he's like that sleazy investigator with fake teeth and stuff. And that's all I see when I see him. Even in the other film that I do like him in is Singles. Do you remember that film about the Seattle music scene? And he's like the... Uh, I really don't like that film. I found it boring. 
Uh, yeah, look, I think it had its moments. For some reason, I liked it back in the day. Maybe I, you know, I haven't watched it since back in the day, so maybe it's shit now. But yeah, yeah, I remember going. It's, it's, there, there. It's a sad boy movie, so a lot of sad boy energy. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember it at all. I just remember everyone was into it because it had all like pill jam and. Yeah, sound sound cool. guard and stuff in it, and then the movie itself. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a rom com thing with nobody actors yet. So, did you see Wild Things back in the day? Did you see it at the cinema? Yeah. Yep. Yep. With a yawn. Yep. And Certainly were you did. expecting? You know, were you expecting a bit of titillation when you went? Like, that's uh, what I, I think- remember the marketing being. Oh, yeah, it was all about Denise Richards getting out of a pool. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a good scene. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's a good scene. Not as yeah. good as, um, let's go, okay, we went Mancox in a film, best getting out of a pool scene. Um, it's got to be Phoebe Cates in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I knew you were going to say that. Because <laughs> it's the best one. Give me another one. Well, how many girls getting out of water shots in Baywatch? Ooh. Many. Yeah, okay. Many. But no, again, still not as good. And, uh, well, oh, Woody, Halle, Carmen Halle Electra. Nah, I never rated her, man. See, on your left, like, you, you, uh, you've got a type, and the type is horrible. Carmen Electra, Tara Reid. Good. <laughs> just Tara Reid. Tara Reid's know. not I on there. I meant to say, who's the chick in this one? Denise Richards. Um, just yeah, I don't know. It just says fake nineties boobs to me. Like now, apparently, before the movie started, one of her she had a boob job at nineteen, mm. and one of her boobs ruptured. Ruptured, so she had to get ah. her boobs fixed before this film. Uh huh. And then she got another boo job, and then the plastic surgeon apparently put in uh, bigger than she was expecting Uh um, boobs. And and so those are the boobs we see in the movie, uh, but bigger than she was expecting. She's got that surgeon to thank for her career then. Yeah, and apparently she had a few flops in a row. No pun. And in 2004, she did um, Playboy, full nude, because uh, Korea was in the toilet. Uh Uh-huh. But she did it after having her first child as well. And then it didn't work. Was that the Charlie Sheen child? Oh, I don't know. Charlie Sheen? Was she Charlie Sheen? Yeah. Oh, fucking no. Married to him Thank for a you. bit. Was she? Mm. I don't keep yeah. up with the gossips. Yeah, I wonder if it was yeah. pre AIDS, Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Did Charlie Sheen have AIDS? Oh, you living under a rock brand, yes. I fucking am. Did he? Is he dead? Oh, he's had it for no, years. He's still going, isn't he? he had a big emotional suppose- breakdown. Remember no. Tiger's Blood? Tiger's Blood. No. Oh my god! Yeah, well, he was had an interview, and he said he's got tiger's blood in his veins, and he was living with two porn stars and banging them, and he had AIDS at the time, and he was like, "All right, perfectly safe. We take a pill." Yeah, I had heard that. Like, it's not like back in Freddie Mercury's day when if you got AIDS, it's your fucking death sentence. Now I think there's medication, and you you know you're pretty good to go, aren't you? I mean, well, it's not great, but it's. I think Freddie got bum AIDS and Charlie got um, vagina AIDS. It's quite different. Um, I beg to differ. Uh, but no, okay. it's definitely different. No, okay. Yeah, well, yeah, Freddie's yeah. dead. Charlie's yeah. still going. So you see my right. point. I mean, um, that's not 100% scientifically proven, but no, it's okay. something I've just made yeah, up sure. now that makes okay. sense. Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, so on the rewatch, how did you feel about this film? The, like, it's like Michael Douglas, he got 
he got cancer from Catherine Zeta Jones's vagina. Get cancer from eating. Pussy. He's not dead. Shut the fuck up. He didn't get, He's get not cancer dead. from eating pussy. That's what he said. If anything, it's the fountain of youth. <laughs> Just. Get him. No, I think no. Nah, I think you're wrong. Like I think you're, you got to stay away from those things. The dirty. Oh, right. Well, just just be alone and jerk <laughs> off all the time. Yeah, wonderful. It could be gay. Oh no, you get bum aids. Yeah. Um, oh man, you're gonna have to edit that out. Um, <laughs> Eric, <laughs> Eric, can you cut that bit out, please? Yeah. We don't want to. Spotify is going to cancel us um, if we keep talking that way. Scientifically proven. Yeah, right. Back to it now. Um, you disagree with me. You disagree with science. I, I, with your science. With yeah, Dan's, I am science. Um, Dan's bigot science. Over there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <sighs> okay. Did you like this film? I enjoyed it. It, it goes along a bit long. Um, Bill Murray was uh, quite refreshing, a little bit different when he was in it because it sort of went comedic and then it's not comedic at all yeah. when he's not in it, you know? Yeah. It was a weird choice. Yeah. It sort of it's didn't. Odd tone. It didn't fit in, but then it was kind of welcome too. He does a good job. Yeah. yeah. I found him quite funny in it when he's, you know, he's got the little, um, the thing around his neck and he's looking for, you know, he's, he's obviously quite a yeah. shyster. And, and then he, yeah. you know, he obviously wins the case and turns up in a, yeah. he's got his Ferrari there. <laughs> like it was quite a good little subplot. Yeah. Um, Quite Do you enjoyed think it, but... he died at the end? Do you think she killed him at the end? Because she gives him a drink. He was the last loose end. And right the final scene before they cut to credit is him lifting a drink to his mouth. Yeah. Mm. I was dead. wondering that. We don't know, I guess, but it seems like she might have. Yeah, totally did. It's something she would do. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I enjoyed the ending on the boat. Um, yeah. Apparently, this film was all um, the characters were all based on Greek mythology. And so what? they have all the different characters. Yeah. Apparently, it's got different character um, traits of the different Greek mythologies. Um, and. Um, you know, the poison, it was all Greek tragedy and things like that. And uh, they wrote it about the class system where they have the trailer trash girl who... Somebody's putting too much thought into this shit. Elevates it herself. And... It's not fucking Shawshank Redemption. It's well, piece of shit. That's what the, the writer was saying. Oh, the well. writer's a fucking moron. Uh, I did like you... the alligators. They were cute. <laughs> so cute. Did you check out any of the sequels, Wild Things 2 or Wild Things 3? Oh, well, that's what we'll be doing for the next sequential weeks. Oh, we'll be doing all, all four Wild Things films, yeah, uh, a marathon. To, um, October, Wild Things Month here at Pointless and Confused. Yeah. Wild Things all the time. Yeah. I hear they just get better, each one. I'm, I'm sure. Like, that's how it works. It's... Two, two is better. The second one's always better. Every time. Third you one, it's two. just getting going, you know, like yeah, really, just that's when it up. kicks in. Yeah. I mean, look at the Terminator franchise. Terminator 1, it's okay. Terminator 2, oh, my God, it's so good. Terminator 3, holy fuck. Arnie is here to fucking kick ass and take names. Uh, Terminator Salvation, again, just... Leveling up again with CGI Arnie. Uh, and then, you know, two, what the fuck came after that? Jenna shit. Um, and what was the last one called? Fuck, they went downhill. I can't oh, even keep that Terminator going. Mexican, Jesus Mexican Christ. edition. <laughs> Terminator. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, that was so shit. Uh, what was the last one? Like, last resort. No, time something. Fuck. Last oh, resort? Wow. What? Terminator Wild Things. Oh, who knows? I, yeah. Uh, Terminator Los you, Mexicos. If you were to double feature this with another film, what are you oh. going to double feature it with? That is a tough one, you know? Like, uh, do you go erotic thriller? But this one isn't really erotic or a thriller. Um, you know what? Fuck it. I'm doubling down on the bacon. Footloose. You won't see his hog, but you'll enjoy his dancing. Terrific answer. Terrific. Absolutely. Terrific. If you've ever been angry in your life you need to learn how to anger dance it just gets it all out just drink and smoke while you're anger dancing too though yeah that's how throw it works some, yeah throw in some gymnastics yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna throw in another th- classic thriller single mm. white female oh that's a better film I, I don't remember it but i remember enjoying it <laughs> yeah Good film. Well, yeah. Who's in that? Fucking what's her name? She um Bridget Fonda. She's unrecognizable now. Bridget Fonda, if the internet's to be believed. And Jennifer Jason Lay. Oh. Oh. Oh, she's in Fast Times. Fast Times at Regimont High. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Who's so, the dude in that that they're fighting over? Is that the um it's not James Spader, is it? Single white female. Yeah. It's one of those, like, forgotten 90s guys, isn't it? I can't remember now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, nondescript dude. Over on IMDb, cold-hearted bastards there have given this a 6.6 out of 10. Oh. No one gave it a 10. Denise Richards, stunning. Boom. Someone gave it a 9. Well executed, yes. well acted. Interesting story. Nice. Someone gave it an eight. Seductive, slick and sexy. Great entertainment. Exclamation mark. And some cunt gave it a three. Wild things. Or how to put too many <laughs> plot twists good. into a movie. <laughs> Such a good word. Cunt. Yeah. Some yeah. Cunt. yeah. Which is so, the point so, you brought up. Give me plot twists. Yeah. Ah. Uh, like, so you said it was a 6.6, but there sounded like a lot of high ratings and then one low one that brought it down. Would that be fair? Well, yeah, scrolling through, it was all 10, 9, 8. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, went, went a long way to find a 3. Yeah. Is it, do, does it, is it worth repeat viewings, though? Maybe not. Oh, you see it once, don't you? You see it once. I mean... Is it? Yeah. That's my problem with it, I think. There's no rewatchability. Why would you, why would you ever go back to this? Like, Oops. even the nudity is not worth it, you know? You could probably get better Denise Richards in some of one of her other films or her OnlyFans page. Go and sign up to that. I think this was her breakthrough role, wasn't it? <laughs> really? I would have thought um, Starship Trip. Maybe was Starship. Mm. But this is the one she got her boobs out. Uh, of course. Yeah. And I was reading the playing high school students, but Neve Campbell was 24. And guess how old Denise was in this? 27. Was. Was she? Yeah. Fucking David Blaine over here. Um, okay. Yeah. Right. Well, what are you going to rate this think- out of 10? Ah, it's a fucking two just. It's, it's a oh. pair of boobs out of ten. It's it was I found it dull, not exciting, not erotic, not thrilling. But actually two and a half just for Kevin Bacon's fat sausage at the end too, so extra point. Yeah, yeah, I was going to point out, it does have a dick in it, so you must have liked it better than a two. Yeah, well, it's a two and a half, yeah. Any dick's going to get you an extra half point. 
Okay. <laughs> think it'd be worth a whole point. No, 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 no. It wasn't like it wasn't like oh, it was masked it was, down. It was, yeah, it was sidecock. You know, it was, it was a, I didn't get. I like, like to see the eye and double balls. Yeah, that's. A, I mean, I like. I don't even know what his religion is. You know, what, did he had the chop? I, I couldn't tell. It was too dark. Uh, <laughs> what am I gonna get? I'm kind of leaning towards six and a half to seven. Oh wow! Why? Where are you getting these points from? Show you're working. Well, Denise Richards boobs three times, and a bit for the cock, I guess. Okay. All right, six and a half for Kim Bacon's cock. That's what I'm. That's what I've written down for you. Yeah, I've made a note. Perfect. And a, okay. Yeah, and a bit for Bill Murray. Uh, seven. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. that's mathematically okay. sound, scientific. Yeah, we, yeah. Okay. We're all, all right. about science here. Hmm. I have to show you. Yeah. Well, are we done? Action packed. No impressions, no singing, you know, just straight to the point, professional, succinct, robotic. Yeah, functional, really. But this is a functional episode. It's one of those episodes where if you've discovered um, Pointless and Confused and it's now one of your favorite podcasts and you've liked and subscribed and joined our Patreon and sent us emails and packages which we appreciate thank you um <laughs> but you wouldn't packages. and you wanted to bring some friends in to the fold you, you wanted to introduce them to the show don't recommend this one um you know go and listen to i don't know man on fire which is surprisingly hilarious mm -hmm. it was Oh, right. another Stay perfect delight. episode on that note. Great. Go fuck yourself. That's uncalled for. <laughs>